Hello everybody and welcome to uh, the Battle Pass Explained video. Welcome to uh, the Winter Battle Pass. We have a uh, wonderful collection of stuff here for you. Thank God Marana got the uh, the upgrade that we've been looking for. She now has her Marana persona, which really should have just been Marana remodel. But now we have Anime Marana. So you can quit being cute. I'm trying to be intimidating. Dark Moon set. Ah, I see. So there's that. And then of course the Drow Arcana. Which everybody Better saw in the more. underwhelming in the under undermining patch. Something. Where everybody just dug up all the data. Yes, the Drow Arcana was real. I I couldn't I couldn't actually say anything about it, but yeah, the Drow Arcana is very real. It is so good. There's a custom kill and special item effects, the unlockable second style, as well as 800 exclusive Arcana voices, which uh, Slacks will have a heyday for lore on that one. We are still trying to get the upgrade here, but, um, you know, we're not connected to the coordinator, as you can see. So once we get that back, we'll, uh, we'll do all the other videos we're going to do. But as always, with every battle pass, there is always battle pass features, which we are going to cover. The first and first the first and foremost thing is going to be the weekly quests. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Weekly quests are back. Not only do your weekly quests end up giving you your shards and points into your battle pass, but if you look here, if you reach three stars for the week, you'll earn an Agnum's Helping Hand. And I believe Agnum's Helping Hand is something that'll help you down the Agnum's Blessing, which we have yet again. The event, by the way, is Agnum's Labyrinth. And that's going to be a very fun event. Uh, everybody has had a Wonderful time doing Agnum's event here. You could also see that it's uh that it's kind of there's one extra piece here, and that weekly event is going to be your your extra currency. Earn seven weekly stars to get the Agnum's Labyrinth event game from from the bosses. So each one will be an Agnum's Labyrinth thing. The rest will just be overall challenges and so on. Next we have the cavern crawl, which is uh, you you can guess it is a cavern crawl. Like, uh, like normal, but it is not going to load. And then, you all remember Aghanim's Blessing last, uh, last season, last year? Well, it's changed. It is Aghanim's motherfucking talent tree. This is literally the craziest thing I have ever seen Dota ever bring to the table. We are literally playing Diablo with this talent tree here. This is actually insane. I really cannot wait to go all the way through Aghanim's Labyrinth this season and get everything in existence here because this is this looks so insanely fun. You also unlock characters by the looks of it. But I think you could also buy the characters outright. So there's some characters that seem to be automatically in the game and some that don't seem to automatically be in the game. I want to see what's in the game mode already, but I don't think we could check that. But it's uh, that's kind of basically it. You could also gift five battle passes by the looks of it, according to this little gift marker here. That does not mean we are gifting battle passes away. But there might be something in the future. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do for battle pass gifting. But the problem is, is that even if I gift the battle pass, the odds of you getting to 333 is very low. So, yeah, there's that. And uh, anyway, that's kind of the Battle Pass Explained Quickly video. Uh, I wanted it to be very short, and uh, it is indeed very short, as it is a four-minute video. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, we will see you guys next time for... Oh, we're not connected to Coordinator again, by the way. So we'll see you next time for some more Dota 2 action. This is Party PD, signing off.